How has your mom influenced you at the of your, your cooking and everything? Mama Francoise, um, she has, she's obviously one of my major inspirations because she's such a good cook. Um, she basically has taught me everything I know. Um, she's an extremely stubborn French woman, but um, she has a lot of knowledge. So, I mean, I used to watch her like a hawk when I was a kid and she just knows everything there is to know about French cuisine. So, um, you know, it was, yeah, she's been my inspiration for cooking, for sure. We have four questions for you. Question number one, what is the strangest dish you have ever eaten? Strangest dish? All right. People are willing to hear this. <laughs> um, the strangest dish is tête de veau. Does anyone know that? Of course. <laughs> tête de veau, which is uh, veal's head. Um, it's, it sounds it sounds straight. It's actually not that bad, okay? Because once you take it all off and it's rolled and you roll some herbs and things, it's quite nice. But the sound of it sounds... So when I first tasted it, I was like, oh, this is horrible. What's my uncle giving me here? It's disgusting. But it tastes nice. But it was just the actual envision, you know, thinking about if that's a veal's head, I'm not going to eat the veal's head. But once it was on the table, it wasn't too bad. So I think that was one of the worst ideas everything else. I'm one of those people that I'm happy to try anything. Um, put a good sauce on it and I'm going to be happy, to be honest. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, I, yeah, no, I haven't tasted snake. Maybe I should try that and see what that just <laughs> um, If you could make any signature dish, like what would your style be and why for a signature dish? A signature dish? Where do we start? I like so many things. Uh, for me, it's it's taking traditional French food, because I'm everything French food is all about that and sauces, <laughs> um, and sort of lightening it up. And um, I don't ha have a signature dish at the moment. I mean, I, I mean, the last thing I did, I did a, a beautiful marron dish with a fish mousse and a perno sauce. So sort of put that together and I took all those different ideas. So I guess I can call that my little signature dish at the moment. <laughs> um, but it would have, have to be something French. I like traditional French food and then putting a modern twist to it. So that's what I'm doing at the moment, sort of getting a little bit excited. No one wants those heavy, heavy, heavy dishes anymore, especially in Australia. No one's going to eat, you know, very stewy things that are just going to be very heavy. It's not maybe in winter. So for me, it's taking that and making it a little bit more modern. That's what I'm really excited about now to make, you know, how much makeup was put on the contestants? <laughs> makeup? Yeah, were there, were there just in between takes where did people come out and put makeup on? Any of the contestants? That one's really easy to answer. No makeup. We put our makeup in the morning if we chose to. Some people did it, some people did. And that was it. <laughs> And then the rest of the time is cooking, so maybe it was the lighting. There's a lot of lighting around to make you look, you know, pimple would be there and then it'd be gone on the television. So I think that was the lighting. It's, we didn't have any makeup artists. I think there was there was one makeup artist, she was lovely, and she did Matt, she did George, she did Gary, and patted their sweat on their head. <laughs> and she did Sarah Wilson. And for us, we had to just do whatever we wanted to do. So. Yeah, they asked us sometimes to maybe put a little bit of makeup on, but um, no makeup. I think it's all about the cooking, not what you look like, to be honest. Well, it's true. Yeah, so um, no makeup. <laughs>